Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be going over how to create a HUD element uh, for our game so that we don't have to constantly uh, check the console or actually just make things you know visually better um, for the character. So right now we have this to where uh, when we're shooting our enemy character, we're actually gaining XP but it's not showing. And if we double click the tilde key, you can see over here um, our current experience is 125 and our level is level 2. So we can actually get that to show up in the HUD um, by doing this. Now unfortunately the HUD does not use UMG. Um, I'll actually be showing you uh, what is UMG exactly and are also called the slate editor and you can create these really cool widgets um, which I've, I feel like I should mention in this series because it is very cool especially want to do if you want to do like 3d huds so this one is the good old-fashioned 2d hud for displaying your health and all that fun stuff so let's get started first thing we're going to do is open up our hud component <clears throat> if you don't have this uh, what you can do is right click and go to blueprint classes um, if this is not open then just open the all classes menu and just type in hud and select that as your uh, starting class, which is the HUD component. But since I already have this first person HUD here, I'm just gonna double click that. Now for those that have never looked in the HUD before, everything looks pretty much the same uh, in terms of like the viewport and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, however, uh, one thing to notice is within the actual thing, the functionality is different. There's the event, um, event receive draw HUD button which is a tick function so it gets called every I think it's something like 30 times a second I'm not totally sure um, this is defined somewhere else but it gets called constantly so that you can constantly draw stuff to the to your screen and also there's the size X and Y components which is the size of your actual screen so if we look here um, which already this part already comes with the um, uh, first person shooter st um, starting script you'll see that it's just uh, drawing a texture and it's drawing the crosshair so that's that um, that crosshair in the very middle of the screen so what we're going to do is add on to this so first thing is go to uh, get we're gonna get the player character which the player index for the player character is going to be always zero. Um, the index only changes when you have like um, if you're doing multiplayer or if you're including other things in there. Otherwise, single player it's always going to be zero. Next thing we're going to do is cast to our first person character so that we can bring in the variables and just connect these. Um, we're going to locate our XP variable that we have drawn um, and then we're going to draw two text um, to the HUD. The first one's just going to say XP and the second one's going to actually be our variable. So draw text. <clears throat> now in the draw text field there is text color um, the screen X and the screen Y. You can go ahead and just add um, values here and here however it will not be scalable to your screen so it will be a constant let's say always 10 from the left side and 10 going from the top down or you can use these and just div like divide and stuff if you want if you want it to be scalable which is the preferred method. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So uh, let's take our X component and create a reroute node right here so that we can just pull stuff off of here. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that with the Y also. Okay, now from here we're going to um, divide it by a certain value. So we'll divide it by 20, which I found is a nice number, and divide it, 
divide uh, this one also by 20. So this is our x. This is our x, and the other ones are y. If you want, you can just do this. If you if you want to place comments in um, in your blueprints, all you have to do is highlight it and press C. So this is our x and y, so that we don't get confused with the reroute with the uh, these reroute nodes. Okay, um, and then plug them in. So this is our x. This is our y. It'll automatically generate our int to float types. We can up the scaling to 2. And then click the scale position button. And the text that we want to that we want to actually draw is XP with a colon. So compile and run. And you can see our little XP thing has shown up in this corner. Now we're going to um, write out the, um, the variable right afterwards. So the way that I chose to do it was to create another draw text. There's actually another way that you can do it by uh, creating a string over here that includes the XP as well as this. Um, but I just did the, another draw text. So let's do that. All right, uh, the text is going to be this XP value. Um, as far as our Y goes, we're going to be using the same Y, but the X will be using something a little different. So we'll be dividing that. I found that 12 is a good number to use for this. For over here, can, and then make the scale the same, and check this little button, and there you go. We have our XP showing, and you notice that every time you kill an enemy, there it is. That's basically how you draw uh, stuff to your HUD. Obviously, you can do cooler things, and you can add more textures, uh, similar to how this one is adding a texture. So if you wanted to put like a, a nice decorative um, thing around the XP or include other parts uh, that you would see in you know better quality games, you could totally do that. Um, or if you want to put one bar on the bottom here and have it fill up slowly for your XP, uh, all of that is possible with the HUD. Alright, so that concludes this video. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing how to, or what the UMG editor is, which is a kind of a new thing that that um, Unreal Engine 4 has, and it's very cool. So we'll be creating a little, I guess, a leaderboard. We'll, we'll basically be simulating this, this draw text, um, the XP and your actual XP system, but on displayed on the wall of your thing. We'll display it right here. So, stay tuned.